welcome to Stage Door Live Master Control, better known as my apartment, a tiny little place in Drumcondra where I've taken every little bit of equipment that I've had to build a control room for our weekly live show, Stage Door Live. I'm Kevin Michael Reed. In normal times, I'm a theater director as well as a video and lighting designer. In COVID times, I find myself as a producer and director of Stage Door Live. Just like many of you, when we first went into lockdown, I didn't quite know what to do with myself. First, it was going to be two weeks, and I learned some new software. And then it was going to be four weeks, and I wrote a draft of a new play. And then it looked like it was going to be much longer than any of us had anticipated. I didn't quite know what to do with myself anymore. Theatermaker.ie was a project that I've had in my head for a while, but never quite had the time to get it running. A resource for theater makers and arts workers in Ireland to find information they need at the touch of a button. While the pr original project is still in development, I thought Stage Door Live was an add-on to it, but it quickly became something that we could do now. I reached out to a few collaborators to see what they were doing. Pretty much the same thing. Amy Kidd was the first person to sign on. Her and I had this incredible opportunity to work together on my GradFest production at the Lear. The more people we talked to, the more positive encouragement we received. So Stage Door Live was born. Stage Door Live is created by a group of volunteers who believe in this idea of bringing a live show each week to you during the lockdown and hopefully long into the future. Many have asked us how we create the show. So I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to all those working behind the scenes of Stage Door Live. This is our 10th show, and we're really proud that we've made it this far. Tonight, I'll be talking to Neve Hona. Tonight, I'll be talking to Ashling Byrne, the Kate McCarthy, and Dr. Una Keeley, Gavin Costick, Tom Creed. I'm Amy Kidd, and this is Stage Door Live for the 3rd of June, 2020. Our week starts on Thursday, when we have our production meeting to talk about the next week's show. First, we discuss the good and the bad of the night before, sometimes more good than bad, sometimes more bad than good. And then the associate producer who's taking on the show for the next week tells us their plans for the show. Here's Chris and Abby to tell you more about the producing process. My name is Chris. I'm a writer and a researcher with Stage Door Live, and I'm here in Wicklow in my home. So it's my job to come up with what guests are going to appear on the show, which I do in collaboration with the other members of the team. And then I reach out to those guests by email. I do some research on them before we speak. And so I look up what their past work was, what they're working on at the moment. And then I conduct a pre-interview. And the pre-interview is to kind of give a structure to the interview on Wednesday night. So we go over what questions are likely to be asked. Hi, I'm Abby. My job is to uh, structure shows, find topics we want to cover, and also bring guests on. So I will pre-interview our live guests. I will also chat with Amy after those pre-interviews to share what topics we covered and to find a structure for the show that will mean we will get the most information and the most important information covered in the shortest amount of time, which is always the trick. I tell you one of the great curses on creativity is the ought to be feeling. I ought to be doing this. I ought to feel this way. By Monday, Hillary, our news producer, and I have already been discussing the news segment for the week. We've been collecting press releases from theatres and companies, as well as news headlines from the major newspapers and media outlets. Here's Hillary to tell you a little bit more about her process. Hi, I'm Hillary. I'm the news producer and writer for Stage Door Live. Every week I search the internet looking for all of the news from the theatre world, both here in Ireland and abroad. I take all of those headlines and pop them in a spreadsheet. Then I compile all of that information into a script for our wonderful host, Amy Kidd, to present at the top of each week's show. Some good news on the home front this week is that Cork Midsummer Festival has announced their programme of events, Midsummer Moments. There are four ways to engage with the programme. I also write a blog, The News That Didn't Make It, which highlights the most interesting stories and articles that we didn't have time to feature in that week's show. You can find that at theatermaker.ie. 
Monday through Wednesday, we're basically all working a full-time job as the pieces of the puzzle come together. As the show's technical geek, I'm usually editing our pre-recordings, developing the motion graphics for the show, and working with the writers and associate producers on finalizing the show's structure. On Wednesday, the final touches are coming together. Abby and I are finalizing the script before handing it over to Amy to give it a read and make it her own. I review all the associate producers' notes from their pre-interviews with their guests and try to find the thesis of the story that we're trying to tell for that show. The last thing that I write is the last word, our weekly end of show monologue. Now, if you can't tell from my accent, I'm American, and the politics of Irish theater are still something I'm very much learning. The associate producer of the show, who usually doesn't agree with me, reviews the first draft. And then we hand it over to Amy to give it her twist as well. I know there have been a few times where Amy has called me saying, we can't say that. As the National Campaign for the Arts points out in its 13-point plan, the arts are everywhere. We use the arts to interpret and make sense of our place in the world. And now, as we begin to recover, our world has changed and we have a lot to make sense of. How do we socially distance in the rehearsal room or on stage or backstage? And how do we get back to work without compromising the art that we are trying to create? Or should the art we create under these circumstances conscious and direct response to these challenges and constraints? By about 6.30, we all log into Slack, which is our text-based communication platform. The associate producers, who are each managing chat rooms on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as looking for your comments and questions. Amy gets on camera from her home. Abby, who runs the teleprompter during the show, logs into our show running system. And by that time, our guests are generally calling in and getting ready to go. This is where my setup is when we go live for Stage Door Live. Um, it's my sitting room at home, um, which isn't always ideal. Couches aren't great to sit on for comfort when you're actually trying to work, but um, it's what we gotta do. We've already had technical difficulties this evening, and it's always a bit mad when that goes wrong, um, because we have to rely on this um, to talk to each other. One of the guests had problems logging in, um, so we're a bit late going up, but it's okay. And I think, yes, this is it, we're about to go live. Um, so yeah, I, I gotta go. I gotta go pay attention. And uh, here's hoping there are no more technical difficulties. I also, during our show, run the teleprompter for Amy so that she doesn't have to like hold a script in her hand while she's doing everything else. And I also manage the media questions that are coming in from all different platforms so that we can keep that conversation going between our audience, you, and our live guests and Amy. And that's what it's all about, is keeping that conversation open and keeping engaged with each other. Thank you so much, Neem, for joining us tonight. Thank you for all of the work that you and the Civic are doing. Uh, that's all we have time for, so I'm going to say goodbye and stay safe. Thanks. first art in isolation is Ricky O'Neill. So this is the part of the show where we do our pre-records, um, which is the art in isolation, and it's a chance for, well, it's a chance for me to breathe anyway, um, other than just keeping a general eye on things. Um, I think for Kevin, who's running the whole show, it's quite difficult because he's like, you know, saying goodbye to the last guest, getting ready for the next guest, and all of that and trying to make sure that everything is where it needs to be all in time for the pre-record to end uh, but for the rest of us um, it's actually just I usually just get to sit back and relax and just enjoy the pre-records which is nice and um, while poor Kevin is frantically lining everything up along with Abby um, they definitely have the harder job uh, once show goes up for sure Amy, a quick history if you're going to do that question. We're running out of time. The first episode we ran completely from the computers in my apartment. But as the show grew and as we tried to increase the quality of the production, we've been slowly moving different functions of the run of the show to cloud-based service. Just the technical requirements of operating a remote show where everyone is spread across the country, plus it's about 300 a week. So that's the end of the show. 
and it's cute. All done and dusted. Gonna sign off here now with the guys and uh, I've got my notes and um, then yeah, we'll have a production meeting tomorrow and go through everything that went wrong and right. Didn't all go wrong, a lot went right. That's it. Good night everyone and we hope to see you next week at 7pm. For the last 10 weeks we've been creating a show that's purpose is to celebrate the sector that we love to talk about the issues that we face, those created by the pandemic and those that are ingrained in our daily lives as artists. To talk about the history of Irish theatre and the work that has been created and the work that is being and will be created as we move forward. I hope this gave you a little insight into our operation, an operation that we're changing every single week and trying to make a little bit better. A crazy idea that has now been watched by thousands of people between our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter channels. We appreciate your support, your encouragement, and your time. Each week you join us to listen and to have a conversation, and we hope to continue that for a long time to come. Thank you. So as we move into the double digits with our episodes, our work is continuing to grow, and we can't wait to keep sharing the important conversations, projects and topics with you. As we all know far too well, artists and arts workers are often asked to make something out of nothing, to work miracles, to use subpar resources and budgets and be expected to reach the standards of fully funded and recognised work. Now that you've had a chance to have a little look behind the scenes, we do need to talk about something serious. Our team at Stage Door Live are committed to growth and development, to champion the Irish arts sector, celebrate it, and to continue to raise our standards of production and capabilities. As Kevin mentioned in the pre-record, it costs around 300 euro per week, just for the necessary data center resources to make Stage Door Live happen. That is a full pandemic unemployment payment each week, pretty much, just to put on this show. And we have more ideas, more shows in the works that feature Irish theatre makers, not only to the industry, but to the world. So, we need your help. Theatremaker.ie has launched its own Patreon page. Through Patreon, you can become a patron of Theatremaker.ie and Stage Door Live, either through a one-time donation or through monthly contributions. Our patrons will gain access to very exciting exclusive content, behind the scenes glimpses, early announcements of our guest lineups, patron only live streams with our team, an opportunity to participate in our advisory panel, and maybe even a little bit of merchandise. We're working on it. Your support would help us continue to provide what we think is a much needed resource to the Irish theatre sector and to the wider world. We have our sights set high, and with your help and support, we have no doubt that we can do some amazing things. So here's a link. I think it's up on the screen there. Here's a link. There you go. Um, and of course, we'll share a link in the description after the show. If you do choose to support us, I would like to thank you in advance. <laughs>